On the iPad you have password, right? I don't know the password. Mm -hmm. I don't have a password. The iPod, you don't have a password to the computer and your dad is a cybersecurity <laughs> expert. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Thank you very much. And today we have a special episode with a special guest. You, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Hilly Hoffman. I'm seven years old. You're seven years old, Hilly Hoffman. And what's our relationship? Uh, you mean that. Yeah. <laughs> What's the topic of uh, today, Ili? What do you would like to, to speak about? Um, cyber security for seven years old. Great topic indeed. And, and what do you know about cybersecurity? What is cybersecurity in, in your view? I think it's where all of business people that are working on cybersecurity are doing stuff to, for the hackers not to do anything wrong to anything because the hackers do lots of stuff that would ruin apps or something like ruin other apps and then you okay. can't get to the location. Okay, that. okay, you almost guessed it uh, <laughs> uh, right. But yes, it's one saf something that is related to safety on the internet. <laughs> and cyber security is made from two words, cyber and security, right? <laughs> and cyber means anything related to computers, to the internet, online. You know, when you are surfing online in your site, the YouTube you see too much, what we can do, the games you play. This is the, the online, the internet, right? This is related to the cyber. And the, the security is related to safety. So cyber security together is making the computers, the internet, the network more safe from <laughs> cyber attacks. Dad, why do you need safety in the internet? So cybersecurity means protecting computer systems, right? You spoke about some hackers that are attacking some application. It was uh, good, attacking, trying to get some online uh, data. So you remember that sometimes, most of the times, yes. I don't know, I <laughs> want mom to hear. Most of the time you see YouTube. YouTube, yeah. right? And you play uh, uh, games. games, right? Yeah. So how does it connect to cyber uh, security? Do you know? Um, I don't think I know, but I could say it could connect by um, some people like once there was a hacker in Among Us. So now it's like you, the games, don't work if you have an hacker in it and the hacker could block the game so you cannot get in it again and sometimes even blocks apps. Okay, so when, when you surf the web, when you are online, yeah. you want to search for your YouTube, you type the name of the video, right? Yeah. What you search. Yeah. Or you play a game, you put your name, right? They ask your name sometimes. Yeah, like my school gives us some online games, so I need to type my name e inside. Exactly, exactly. So the online world is very big. And there are many people that are playing games, right? Mm -hmm. They are seeing YouTube or searching some information in Google. So they put all of these inputs into the internet. And the internet is saving them, is saving their names, is saving their searches, their mm. mobile phones, their addresses, and everything. So it stores a lot of uh, uh, information. And cybersecurity goal is to protect this information. So some bad people will not steal it and misuse it. What's dangerous about the internet? Okay, so it's, it's, it's a good uh, question. And I think I, I will try to, to break it in a few things. One, there are many strangers in the internet, right? Strangers, yeah. people you don't know. Yeah, because people, a lot of people use the yes. internet. Yes, so there are many people in the social media, like Facebook, 
right? Yeah. And YouTube <laughs> and chats. You're too small for that, thank God. And some games and discussions. There are many people there. And most of them are strangers, right? You don't know yeah. them. And if they know your name and can gain information about you, mm-hmm. they can maybe use it. They can pretend. Yeah, right? so they can go uh, everyone. Yes, they can ask you, try to trick you, what's your name, what's your password for your computer, where do you live, really? And then if you tell them this information, they can use it and pretend to be you to other people. And it's not good, right? There is only one Ely in the world, right? The second risk is bullying. Do you know what is bullying? Maybe you will explain I, I me. Do, I do know what's bullying. Okay, so please explain. Bullying is when someone doesn't act nice to others and they try to say mean words. And that is bullying, which we, no one does actually because some people do bullying because they want to be mean. Because bullying is when you say bad words to others that are sad or they're like angry and then you make... Like let's say someone was doing some dancing caused and then they fell down and then someone just and um, you know laughed and bullied yeah. so that five minutes later it's good nice example really exactly it's people that are doing acting unnicely to others mm-hmm. right and many times because we are online we are behind the computer near the keyboard we feel we are strong it's very easy to write thing instead of saying face to face right yeah. and we don't do it Right? We always yeah. act nicely, we always help the, the weak. Yeah. So bullying is another risk in the internet. And the last, I can say, risk is from what you do, kids are doing, and not only kids, I must say, everyone are doing themselves in the internet. There are many risks online. For example, we can get different mails with links from people that we don't know, mm-hmm. try to trick us to click these links or to install some software or to install some game. Mm -hmm. And when we do that, we maybe install some malicious, some bad, bad software into our system Mm -hmm. that later can steal our information from our computer. (laughs) But dad, now I understand cybersecurity, but what is a hacker? Oh, good question. (laughs) You're excited? It's good. It's okay. It's good. It's good. So it's an excellent uh, question. So what is a hacker? You remember I told you there are bad people and good people? Yeah. So also in the internet, online, there are bad people and good people. And they have names. There are ethical hackers or white hackers. And these are good people. They try to help organization to protect themselves from cyber attacks or they try to educate to raise awareness on cyber attack like what we do now right we, we discuss about cyber attacks at the same time there are also bad hackers bad black hat hackers they called and these black hat hackers have very mean malicious intents Maybe they want to break into some company to steal money, to steal information. They can sell it outside. But there is a distinction between ethical hackers, which are the good guys to protect, and the black hat hackers to attack. So, Dad, what should I do when I do and not do online? Okay, great. So, first, you know, I trust you. And I think me and mom are educating you very well. You know best what is good for you and what is not. You know when do you feel hurt or when do you feel danger, right? Or risk. So you always need to trust yourself. But I can give you some tips on top of that. So some tips what not to do online. Never ever. Ever ever. Give your real name and address to strangers, right? That's very important. People we don't know, we do not share any information with. Only the family or friends you really know and trust, okay? Second, 
you do not share your password besides of the family. Right? You have a password to the computer, you have a password to I the... I don't have a password. The iPod. You don't have a password to the computer and your dad is a cyber security expert. <laughs> I don't. Oh my God, it's shame on you, me. But on the iPad you have password, right? Yeah, but mm -hmm. I don't know the password. <laughs> okay, it's maybe that's, that's an advantage. <laughs> so when you will learn the password, you do not share it, okay? Maybe we'll keep it out of you. <laughs> when you are online, after you finish school, of course, right? All of the homework will see so that you are strong, you have challenges, you don't like too much. But after that, when you are playing or surfing online, it's very important not to press links that you are not familiar with. Yeah. Okay? Why? Do you know why? Yeah. Why? Because it, you don't know if it could be good or bad. Right, exactly. There is something that is called a malware. And malware is a malicious software. And sometimes this malicious, malicious is bad, right? It has like a bad intent. You can download it and maybe it's bad. It can do something to the computer. So definitely you do not click any link that you are not familiar. And another tip I can give you, don't also upload pictures of people, of other people, without them knowing, yeah. right? Sometimes we take pictures with friends, right? In school yeah. or in the garden that we yeah. play, and we want to protect their privacy as well. Yeah. So we do not upload these pictures to the internet without them knowing and, and agreeing. Maybe you take normal pictures of like someone, but you know, it's like right from your family, and then you send it to one of your, like your cousin or grandma, you just send it, or if you have an auntie nearby, ask her to take a picture, just send it to you. Okay, and the last tip, and this is the most important thing. You remember I told you I trust you. Yeah. Right? Okay. You're a very smart girl. So if you identify when you are online some danger, someone approach you, ask you a question, you don't know him, he's pushing you and you don't know even what to do, yeah. or you feel uncomfortable, first thing, you don't be shy. Come to us, come to an adult, and say, oh, mom, dad, even to your uh, brother and sister, this person is approaching me, is asking me a question, I don't know what to do, can you help me? Mm -hmm. That's very important, okay? Yeah. Thank you, Eli. I really enjoyed our session. <laughs> Uh, today. Is there anything else you want to say? Would you like to be a cybersecurity, by the way, uh, expert <laughs> yeah, when you will be a uh, adult? I don't know yet because I haven't experienced uh, cybersecurity so much. So <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll try. Okay, 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 great. So would you like to thank the audience that saw us, took the time and saw us and hopefully enjoyed? What do we say? Bye. Bye and thank you everyone. Thank you for watching and see you in the next time.